Alicante, Spain. Apologies if there's a bit of wind. We are on the 25th floor, the rooftop of a giant apartment building here in the heart of the city. Yeah, it is a perfect spot for sunset photography though. But I want to begin by uh, explaining why I haven't been here on YouTube for the last couple days. I have been trying to wrap the content from a travel videography assignment in Austria with a couple of my partners here in Europe. And that content is almost complete, including a behind the scenes video that I was planning to release on the channel. Uh, however, the client would like uh, their completed content first, which totally makes sense, but it is something to look forward to. I've got um, the behind the scenes ready to go, ready to be published, so I'm looking forward to getting that to you very soon. Exactly, and that's just the way it is sometimes, so that's fine. Right yeah. now, however, we are here in Alicante and getting caught up on work, which is great. And after that, we're going to Greece and Albania, which is very exciting and mm. two new countries for you. Two new countries for this guy. Very, very much looking forward to that. I do keep a bit of a country count and I'm getting closer to 100 countries. So this is very exciting. Just by the way. Yeah, sorry. Especially being here in Europe, uh, there is a really good opportunity to travel to a lot of new places. So Albania especially I'm looking forward to and of course the Greek islands which are going to be great. But that is not what this video is about. No, this let's <laughs> jump into the sunset shoot. This video is about sunset in Alicante. Let's go. I know it is a little unconventional to be just shooting straight at the sun. Got the uh, 5D Mark III there looking right directly at it to get a time lapse of the sun dropping down behind this peak. And that's the idea. I mean, why not be creative? I know that it isn't uh, necessarily perfect, but then again, I am not a professionally trained photographer. I just like to kind of do trial and error and figure out what works for me. So I hope you like the time lapse and I'm enjoying part of this video. And now it is time to go, go, go because the sun is going down and we do not have a lot of time to get the shot. So to all of you amazing drone enthusiasts out there, I have got the Phantom 4 set up right now doing a potential hyperlapse, which is essentially in tap fly mode. I've got it in JPEG on the photo setting, shooting every two seconds at the slowest possible rate. It'll fly in tap fly, which is 3.6 kilometers uh, per hour, I guess. So super dead slow, super dead straight taking as many images that I can get with 50% battery left and still getting the drone back home. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to stitch together a really nice time lapse. So fingers crossed that you'll be able to see that in like two seconds. One, two. is really the last of the light here in Alicante. I'm sorry if it's a little bit grainy, but the GH5 does not do low light very well. However, that was a very beautiful sunset in this awesome city in Spain. Another incredible experience from the top of this apartment building. I'm not gonna tell you where it is because it's a secret spot, but it is the 25th of 23 floors. So there's a little hint if you really are looking for this spot. But very, very cool. I think I'm gonna try and do more drone time-lapse work. Um, probably better off with the Mavic or the Air because the Phantom 4 is just getting 
getting too big and bulky and it's even kind of not working that well it's giving me glitches and stuff with my iPhone so not really too happy with the uh, the Phantom 4 right now but I do hope that that drone hyperlapse worked out and I'll start blabbing away because it's really dark but as always thank you so much for watching I hope you like this video and I will see you on the next one